Hello there, my name's Kyle. I'm currently studying the Certified Ethical Hacker Suite from The Learning People. Um, the reason I wanted to study and become certified in this was I was hoping it would get me into the IT sector um, and eventually a fully remote job that I could work while still travelling as I have be, I've built my own van so I'm kind of hoping eventually that I can work from a laptop, travel everywhere, everywhere on the road and sort of stay wherever I need to be. Um, and before doing the course I used to be a holiday park warden and before that I had a lifetime of customer service. So it's nice to do a solid career change in the IT industry. So my consultation call with the learning people helped me choose to actually go for the course because um, it gave me a lot more information into what was happening in the security industry at the moment. I, I didn't realise just how much it was in need of an overhaul, how many more people were needed and just how good it is for getting a job at the moment. Um, and one of the reasons why I actually went for the course was the flexibility of everything and the career service element in particular. Just knowing that you don't just get abandoned alone with the course material made a huge difference to me. Um, and as it goes during COVID, I found that they were very, very helpful in getting my helping me get around my head around CV, covering letters, sorting out LinkedIn, and just generally bringing everything to a much more professional standard. So I would say the biggest challenge I've experienced while studying um, would be time management. Trying to actually juggle it with a job has been quite quite an interesting thing. I mean, I was off working through the winter when I took on the course because I was a seasonal worker. Um, and after COVID hit, I couldn't resume this work, so I got a job in the IT sector a lot quicker. And I have found since doing that that juggling my time between that and the course has been the most challenging element. Um, the only way I've sort of worked out to overcome that is to just try and squeeze in studying wherever and whenever I can. I make sure to try and get some in in the morning when my brain is at its most alert and most functional and and um, then just try and squeeze in like a little bit on lunch, part of a module here, part of a module there. So with regards to how getting certified has affected my daily life, um, I'd say it's given me a lot more knowledge, uh, a lot more confidence with working in IT. I feel the knowledge was there but needed some refreshing and expanding upon as I did do a little bit in college but I dropped out and that was a very long time ago as well and it did need some refreshing and it has helped quite a bit and obviously the stuff I haven't done yet is all going to help me into getting into network jobs and security jobs in the future. Um, and my role has changed since I took on the course. I was a holiday park warden when I started, temporarily um, off work because of the season and now I'm a service desk technical analyst and I am far happier with my job and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'd say the most important thing I've learned um, is just don't hesitate. I hesitated a lot on things like sorting out LinkedIn, my CV, um, as I knew that they needed a major overhaul. Once I did it though, I literally got a job in less than a week, so just, just get on with it, it's your best bet. Uh, my advice to people who want to develop their tech skills is just read, watch and practice as much as you can. If you have access to an old computer, rip it apart, put it back together, get it working with functional software, use simulations, anything to get practical experience and to cement that information into your brain. Um, and in future, I'm hoping to move from the service desk into network security, onto penetration testing, hopefully freelance penetration testing work in future.